Hey, babe. Can I join you? <sighs> we don't have to talk about anything if you don't want to. We can just lie here and look up at the stars. It is a little chilly, though, so I hope you don't mind me cuddling your arm. <sighs> your hair is getting long. I could cut it for you. Maybe a little off the side. It's cute, though. What? I look at stars all day. Can you blame me for looking at you instead? So mysterious and brooding. Or maybe not. Oh, you're thinking about the heat death of the universe again, aren't you? Would you believe me if I said it's going to be okay? That's not really what you want to hear. How can it be okay that the universe is destined to fall apart? Well, it will be. Things fall apart perfectly for the next step. And it's going to be so beautiful. You'll get to see it. What's that? Uh, nothing. Don't worry about that. It's almost time. Picking the right day when the sky would be clear. When you'd be stargazing at the perfect moment. Sometime before the beginning and after the end. The crest of the winter shells. I'm not sure your leanness are departed. I'm not sure you show you something different from the leather of your shadow. I'm not writing before you. I'm not sure I'm with you, sir. No, don't look at me. I know I'm talking funny. Just look out at Canopus, the coyote star. Look how bright it is. See how it fits against the sky. Watch carefully. There. I moved it. Just two degrees. Calm down. You're not seeing things. I just moved the star. Well, about 300 years ago I moved it. Ten light years or so toward the sidereal. The light just got here, this moment. For you. When you were sad about the path of the universe and your goofy girlfriend was talking some nonsense. It's okay. Everything is okay. It's just that I'm not from around here. Not. Human. I exist in space and time, but only... casually. Sweetie, no. This isn't what I really look like. I picked this form to get close to you, because I was grateful. Not long after we started dating, you made me feel better about my own problems. So I started dating you. I know. It's a circle. And I want you to know that a lot of things that look like downward spirals are actually big, squiggly circles. And it comes around again and again. The building of hearts are always there. Never meant to see it. Never erased. Never forgot. The aurora is coming up again. I just read the virus mud in it. This is one of those times. I know it turns out all right because I waited for the fortunate circumstances. But it still makes me giddy and nervous. I spend a lot of attention here. And when we first met. And when I got to hold our child for the first time. I love you. I want to share my ever vibration. Yeah. I knew you were going to propose to me. That's part of what made the stars right tonight. But you still haven't done it. You could change your mind. Free will is an illusion. Half the middle of time is flat. The sky is to see it. But it's still you deciding. So think about it. Take your time. It won't be easy. I'll never be able to relate to you in quite the way you want. And sometimes, honestly, that breaks my heart. But I don't want anyone else. My humors are like a labyrinth, and I'm there by the other Nobody, not in all of space and time. 
I want to show you something. Something closer to the real me. A metaphor. A costume that's more like how I am outside of the moment. Okay, here it goes. I know, it's a lot. The tentacles. A hundred times to smell like a lot of The eyes all over my arms, my forehead. I guess they're a color that doesn't exist. The creepy crosses up your spine or doors in the universe or the upstairs must be far Babe, please, please, could you touch my cheek? Could you smile like you smiled at me before? I'm kind of freaking out. Please, say something. All of you turn here to see the lips up and link of an eye. Here's on the day I wish open the near side and I've lost too much already. And in this dread for a moment, I give up. Now that I'm above a yacht, I'm all hard for every single day. I forget the crew. I wish I wish to solve a desperate bid to push away the not dreams. The possibilities frighten me. You still think I'm cute? Creation could be saved. <laughs> Do you? Do you really? Tell me. I want to know. Well, yeah, I always imagined myself with slender fingers. I think they fit me. And they fit in your hand, too. Blessed land. Do you want to touch my tentacles? They're important. Sort of how I feel the world around me. How I've wanted to feel you. But I didn't want to be intrusive. The treasured one is her very beloved. If I could a mirror person, I would have Hmm. Your skin is delicious. Smelling your shirt. Feeling your hands hold me. Sometimes I want to wrap all around you. To crawl in through your ears while you sleep and give you sweet dreams. And I know I'll have to pretend to be human, just so that you can be well-adjusted, for us to have relationships with your parents, your friends. That's all okay. Just for this moment, to hug you and feel you all over. For this, I'd meet you halfway any way I can. I... Really? Yes! Yes, I'll marry you. A fractally infinite number of times, yes! <laughs> the pack is sealed. Uh, yeah, I guess I knew you'd come around, but, you know, it's easy to get caught up in the moment. The stars. Yeah. Oh. 